So my last comment about the negatives is that the movie is really just a CPR instruction video. <laughs> I'm going to explain this. So we see Cassie give CPR multiple times in the first act, multiple times. I even mentioned one of them where the, that EMT driver, he dies and she's trying to give CPR to him, but it doesn't come back. We also see other instances of her giving CPR. Then when she's hiding out with the teenage girls at a motel, Cassie shows the girls how to give CPR with a lot of instruction. She gives them a lot of instruction and then that scene lasts too long, like way too long, because we take turns seeing each individual character giving CPR to a pillow. Oh, you're kidding. One gives CPR to a pillow, and then they're like, okay, I'm getting tired. All right, let's switch up. Let's swap out. All right, you're giving CPR to a pillow. Okay, I'm getting tired. Let's swap. <laughs> <laughs> did, did they give you and your brother certificates when you walked out of the theater? They should have. Like that was CPR training right there. Like I should have, <laughs> yeah, I should have got my little, my little certificate. I can put in my, good, my wallet. Good till February, 2025. Yeah. So, so I mentioned that. And then at the end of the movie, the teenage girls use the CPR training they learned from Cassie to take turns giving CPR to Cassie to <laughs> save her life. That's why I say this movie is secretly just a really long, high production CPR instruction video that just so happens to have a plot that leads to CPR being given. <laughs> yeah, I think this was whoever has the organization that does the CPR instruction stuff. I think they were one of the producers in this movie. I think they were a big producer in this movie. <laughs> Hey, you know, it is valuable knowledge, so at least you're getting something useful out of it. It is. <laughs> it's just really weird that I had to pay 11 bucks to get my CPR instruction and have all this random bullcrap plot around it. 